Hi, I'm Matt with Appliancevideo.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the gear case on this GE top load washer. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. A defective gear case will typically present itself in a few different ways. Some of the most common would be if the seal is bad on the gear case where it goes up into the tub, you could have a leak from the center of the tub. Also, the bearing is part of the gear case, so if the unit is in a spin and it sounds something similar to a jet taking off, that would indicate that your bearing is bad on the gear case. Uh, you also have internals on there that could strip out and cause the unit not to agitate or make a lot of noise during agitation. Click on the link below to view this repair video. Appliancevideo.com guides you step by step, giving you the confidence to avoid recalls and callbacks, also saving time on repairs. Whether you're up against an uncommon repair or the latest appliance on the market, our videos have been created with you in mind. Our growing library of videos have been produced using our factory certified technicians who have extensive infield experience over the past 30 years. Appliancevideo.com provides high quality repair videos that anyone can follow regardless of their skill level. We are here to help. Click on the link below to view this repair video and let us help you do it right the first time.